Ida Maharesi Alit, a village girl in Bali at the age of 21 years old, was ordained not just as the only but the youngest female high priest of Hindu Dharma, the traditional religion of the deeply spiritual island of Bali, Indonesia. The arduous procedure to become a Hindu priest or priestess generally takes up to three years or more and requires extreme training under the guidance of a master teacher. Ida learned all requirements in just under three months. Her message is that no one has exclusive rights to the One and that all things come forth from the One, which is the source of all complete existence. Its cosmic presence is manifested in many names and takes on all forms in order to make known its divine essence. Indeed, it is known theosophically that all parts are contained in the whole, and the whole is contained in all parts. Swastiastu. Om Swastiastu. Welcome to the Women's Broadcast Television Network here today, live in Bali at the Holy Champuan River, together with an amazing priestess, actually mm. one rare priestess here in Bali, by the name of, and I hope I get this right, she is called Ida Maha Resi Alit. Alit. Yeah. And it sounds more like this. Ida Maha Resi Alit. Alit. Okay, we got that one right. So <laughs> I would like to introduce you to a woman priestess because normally a lot of, around the world we find mostly men priests. And because we're here on a woman's channel, I'm very excited to be sharing her amazing story of awakening. She didn't study to become a priest, she became a priestess. And that story I'd like to talk to you about and also get you ideas of how you can connect to spirit, to God, to your source, and that it doesn't always have to be a pretty path. It can mm -hmm. come and often does come from a deep journey when you come to your knees, when you really need help. And that was such a story for Ida. And I would like to ask you first, thank you first yeah. of all to be here. We're at the Champuan River Hotel. And this was yeah. the oldest hotel right by the Holy River, uh, which had healing waters and was visited for the healing waters. And you are a priestess of water. You use water as a way to connect with your clients, people, people who seek. Uh, in, in our tradition, in Bali, uh, water is the most important thing we use to bless. So before in Bali, we call our religion Hinduism. So our religion was, uh, we call a, a Tirta religion. Yeah, ah, the water So we religion. call a yeah, Tirta religion. Oh, so when people need a blessing, uh, we always do a water purification so people can go to the spring water to the sacred spring water and then some people go to uh, go to the priestess and and doing uh, uh, the blessing uh, uh, but it, it's a normal it is our old tradition uh, okay. in, in our year but when you were 21 you had just come back from trying to find a job near Singapore and that in was Bintan, in Bintan, yeah, Bintan, Bintan Island. Yeah, an yeah. island. Yeah. And you came home, the universe was not cooperating, making you a, mm. a business person, manager, anything. Sent you back home, nothing happened, and you were depressed for quite a few months, correct? And why did they choose you? I mean, they ha you had to go through rigorous examination, you had to know things that you were never prepared. I mean, you had your Bali upbringing, mm. you regularly had prayer yeah. but what was that if it's not about why why but but it's more about the mystery of of uh, of our journey as a human i uh -huh. think all of the human in this world have a mystery their own journey uh yeah so like me um when when i came back from bintan i i never at all imagine my life will become a like this to become a, a priestess even even i i don't know i don't know um, yes i was born in bali uh, with a tradition with a religion with a culture but but i was really young i was really young 20 years old uh, 19 20 years old so i did not really understand uh, my you know even my religion i yes i just follow my family way Pray, pray every full moon, pray every day, yes. make offering. But, but 
I didn't know really understand. Uh, no, uh, it's not like a all all men. You know, it's just know about about religion, about culture, about tradition. I was I was really young, so so I just I just yeah I just follow my my family way. Right. Yeah. So that's what we usually do, right? We mm-hmm. do what our parents do, and maybe we pray. But we maybe have a prayer that we say over Thanksgiving dinner, and that's maybe the extent. We celebrate Christmas in the Western world, but we don't really know how to connect with God. Yeah. We don't really know how to have our soul connection to the source. Mm-hmm. Tell me a little bit about that, how that happened for you, or how that can happen for people. Uh, you know, it's, if, if, if we talk about the God, I. If we will talk about uh, a believeness, Belief, uh, yes. uh, keyakinan mm-hmm. in Bahasa we call keyakinan. So, like like we talked before, you know, for me, uh, a believeness or trust is not tidak tidak terlahir dari is is not prayed by. Yeah, it's it doesn't come automatically. Just, just be, just yeah, be. Right. So in 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 my in my uh, in my word, I say. Look through penuh hat manam, look through at kanama hat manam, the trum as pramudra mantra. Hmm. So, it mean, uh, what we call, the soul, the soul come from there, from yeah. the up, and then, and then, uh, the vessel, the, the, the vessel is the body, yeah. body, and then the body come from the five element, hmm. from the earth, yeah. made from the, is. Is a is a truktum of the satkam. There a process. Yes. When the soul, when when the, the when, when the body have a five sense, and then and then start upranikum, you know, start and then yeah, and then and then when when the body born, and then when the body out the sub uh, uh grow up, so between the soul and uh, body uh, uh-huh. together. Make a process. A relationship yeah. evolves. Yeah, make a process. Beautiful. A relationship with it, and then, and then, and then, of course, the consciousness is a practicum. Yes. Kesadaran adalah hal yang tertinggi sebelum keyakinan itu. Yeah, the consciousness is the highest form of existence. Before we can have belief, it yeah. is there, yes. and that it comes into Come. the vessel. Yeah, yeah. And, and merges. Mer- yeah, we call. Yeah, jadi sebelum keyakinan, keyakinan kesadaran itu adalah yang terutama. Yeah. Itu adalah yang ter uh, ya yeah, yang tertinggi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that is a beautiful point. She says the consciousness is the is the most highest point of our being and when we bring that into our vessel and when there is a merger, mm-hmm. we're not automatically merged yeah. with our full awareness of soul, right? It's a practicum. It's a it's an evolution that happens. And this union and when that comes and we're lit up from the inside that's when we really are alive and that's when magic happens that's yeah. when we really feel like we're in the flow of life yeah, yeah. because uh, because mystery uh, mystery dari sebuah mystery dari sebuah uh, keyakinan yeah. apapun itu dimulai dari keyakinan yeah whatever we start from the beliefness yeah everything we start from beliefness keyakinan keyakinan adalah Dasar adalah fondasi, foundation untuk uh, untuk untuk praktikum. Yeah, yeah. So once that connection is made, then we have a trust, a belief. Yeah. Then it's not something we learn. It's not something you can get from a book. Mm-hmm. It's something that happens by opening. Yeah, opening, and then and then that, and then the beingness. Beautiful. I get yeah. chills just talking to you. Yeah. Then the beingness radiates from the inside out with a tr- with a belief. Yeah. With a certainty. Yeah. And I know, and I can summarize this, I have heard from many of my friends who've come to her water blessing ceremony here in mm-hmm. Bali. Uh, you sing mantras, you pray, they have water poured on them in their purification process. And they go sometimes through something you went to when your grandfather did that to you. Mm-hmm. you can you tell them what happened to you in the first moment of such a blessing? It was, um, I was, I was in the temple, and then he did a bless, and then then he told me uh, sit down, and then put his hand together, and then breathing in, breathing out, and it is suddenly um, I don't know emotional just came up, 
emotional just came up i was crying i was crying and and rolling in the veil in the veil of the temple and just like uh, screaming it's just just emotional emotional reaction Releasing. yeah right. Revelation, yeah and do you know what brought or if i may ask you my american mind wants to know yeah. what happened okay. why did the emotions come out you know when when i think this i i ended to tell you a little bit story when when i came back from the bintan island and then i I just in Bali and then, yeah, I was I was fine, you know, mm. I was fine and then and then after that, um, I decided I I heard many things about about some of my friend. There are some of my friend um, there are some my friend married already married have a family and then have a job yeah. and then and make then money. in the university and then yeah. they make money and then and then I just I just and then wake me up, you know, woke me up and then what happened with me? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do anything. Yeah. I didn't make money, and I just stay. I just stay home, and just like this, and then, and then from that, um, I think uh, I start emotional. Becoming emotional. Emo- becoming emotional, and and of course, just cry, and then worry start worry come coming, and yeah. then, and then afraid, and and just like that, and and then after that, of course, my mom see me. I was changed, and right. then yeah. It was sad for her, and then she told to my my, my grand uncle. My grand uncle Grand-uncle. is a, he's a monk. He's a he's a holy man. Oh, yes. And then and then that that's why then then we we went to the, the temple in our village, and then and then we did the ceremony, and then he blessed me by water, and emotional just came out. I cried and mm, like that. You yeah. could finally release all that. Yeah. And in that releasing or emptiness or what did you feel? I yeah. It's. I feel. I feel just calm. Calm. I just calm, but but I, because, it. I did not really understand at the time. Yeah. I just feel calm. Yeah. And then and then he after that he just took me to his friend, mm-hmm. and then uh, and then again he did uh, water purification again. Yeah. His friend is a spiritual man and and also meditation teacher. Oh yeah. And then and then he gave me advice and then hey, you have to be the meditate before I did not. I did not know what is meditation. Mm-hmm. I just know pray in a, in in my tradition in Bali, pray every day, just like that. Yeah. And then, and then he he told me to to uh to do the meditation, and yeah, meditation and praying every day. And then, and then, um, and he he they they gave me some advice. Oh, who knows? Uh, a God give you way. And then and then you have a job and you can continue your education and it's very. Yeah very uh, a good good advice from them and then short story and then I went I went to my grand ankles um, I went to my grand ankles I did meditation often mm-hmm. in uh, at, at at his house mm-hmm. so he he had a, a small meditation place a meditation room and I did meditation I did meditation maybe for for first time, it was very bold, you know. Boring. I was I was sleepy and like that. And right. um, for for five time I did the meditation, I was three. I don't know. It's just like my my body sick. Um, my my stomach first. My stomach. I felt I felt my stomach was like a like a strain. Yeah. Very weird. And I thought maybe maybe something wrong, but and then later my is my stomach like a bit like sinking. My body shaking and then and then up and down is up and down like that and then I, this is suddenly I don't know my mouth just like boo, 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 just, I just spoke up I like jumping I I did not I did not understand I didn't understood what 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 I was what I was jumping it just 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 mm-hmm. very fast and then boo, 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 just just come okay, just came out like that yeah did your uncle grand uncle ever tell you what it was. No, never. He, he he just did meditation. And I was I was behind him, okay. and then just and then he he just meditation too. He did meditation, and then just sudden I don't know. And then and then I, I, I was chanting fast, and then and then I know it just suddenly he he faced to me, and then yes. he just just show me, yeah. Beautiful. Like Namaste. My name is Ilona Selke, and I'm an international author, an international seminar leader, and wellness coach. I will teach you the power of your mind so that you can learn effortlessly how to work from the inside out. I will bring the wisdom of our wellness center Shangri-La 
that we have in Bali to you and help you tap the power of your subconscious mind. Most people think it takes a lot of effort to get results, but the real power to get results starts in your mind. Let me help you work from the inside out and teach you stress management tools and fitness tools that get greater results with less effort. Whether you choose yoga, meditation, fitness or wellness, I will be by your side to guide you step by step. Over the last 25 years, I've helped thousands of people worldwide to achieve their goals. If you train your mind in tandem with your wellness goals, you will harness the results that world-class athletes have been using for decades to get the results that you want. And I'm very much looking forward to meeting you and assisting you on your journey to greater balance, wellness and health. Namaste. Yeah. And so the awakening came rather quickly for you. Yeah, very quick. Yeah. Yeah. And on the three months. And right. So it took a short time and then somehow um, a board of examiners and priests looked at you what normally takes people a few years, three years minimally, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how did what what made that come like that? What do what do you say now? What happened? Setiap kejadian selalu ada selalu ada proses. I don't I don't I don't wanna you know every everything happen always always there a process. So right. I I didn't I didn't wanna say like a conflict or or uh, you know a conflict of pro and contra. But mm. but I I feel more 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 right if, if I say every everything happen there a process. You know. Also in that process at that time, uh, the process also is not easy. You know, it's it's not it's not a uh, uh, spontaneously mean mean uh, people uh, people uh, accepted me yeah. you know as like of course because uh, the role in Bali to become a high priestess a minimum 45 or 46 years old and then I was 45 and you're 21 uh, yes I was 20 20 yeah. years old and yes. then it was it was there yeah some people talk about that agree they're unagree and it's just like uh, they're, they're a process mm. yeah of course uh, but I, I do know. Uh, at that time, I was really, yeah, I was really. I just follow. I just, I just go flow and then follow the, the time, the time, the situation. Even people talk, talk not good thing about Negatively, me. Negatively, yeah. That, but, but I, I do know. I, I couldn't say anything. You know, right. I cannot. I, you know, it is hard to explain. Really, right. I, it's very hard to subscribe. It's an internal yeah, process. Yeah, this, yeah. So I know mm. that it has been said you went through out of body experiences or near death experiences. Is there anything that you can tell people about the other world that really helps or influences our physical? You know how we were saying the soul comes and touches the physical. See, in the West, most of us think of being the body is enough. That's what makes us. We learn, the brain learns. And that's what makes us human, right? We are a functioning body system. Well, in Bali, and especially with your feeling now, what would you say um, mm -hmm. makes a full human? And then how can we get there? Well, I think we just need to be a to be a person and autonom, accept, and like like I say, start from your beliefness first. Mm. No believeness can happen without humility, because so, because when humility, humble, mm -hmm. humble, humbleness, humble, humility, humbleness, yeah. humble, yes. uh, and uh, can, we we cannot believe something, uh, we cannot pray or even believe without a humble and dedication first. Yes. Okay. So dedication is is a dedication, a bond mm -hmm. from a believeness. Mm. When when believeness believeness is believeness is a look through from the consciousness. Okay, arises from yeah, arise from the consciousness. Yeah, so yeah. consciousness brings and touches into the body, brings about a sense of ah, it's merged. So now life makes sense yeah. from that belief. We open ourselves to the greater universe, and from there, everything starts yeah, flowing together. Yeah, it is flowing with uh, between uh, between a uh, uh, rational, yes. logical, spirit, mental, emotional. Yes. And uh, and uh, of course it's of and and a spiritual 
spiritual uh, intelligence. Mm, a spiritual intelligence that is beautiful. Mm. You know, they have the intelligence quotients, they have the emotional quotients, and the spiritual quotients. And how can maybe somebody who's just starting out in the world mm -hmm. start opening, start opening themselves to the higher spiritual quotient? You know, it's it's not we first first we start from believeness and in humble. So when 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 we when we when we have a willingness to to uh, to reach the high spiritual, so no expectation at that process, you know. Okay, so first we open ourselves because because expectation is is a, is a more more desire ego, yeah. ego. and and uh, and humble and humble is is a is a sacred thing that 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 we can get through the good heart mom. Oh. So how, I don't know how it to opens say, up yeah. the invitation to the soul to come in. Yeah, it's more like I'm willing. Please teach me. Please help me. Yeah, and then and wisdom from the inner is will come, uh, come. Oh. We never know Reveal when, itself. but just be. Yeah, yeah. You know, in the book Eat, Pray, Love, which I'm sure many of you have heard about and probably even yeah. read, the uh, author, the woman, comes in the very beginning to the point where. Her life just is falling apart, nothing is working, and she's on the knees in her bathroom crying her eyes out. Yeah. And it sounds a bit like your journey, and there she says, God, help me. Please, I don't know what to do anymore, please help me. It's that deep humbleness that makes us say, I'm willing. There's a higher force, maybe I don't know where it is, yeah. just help me. And that humbleness is what you're saying, it is what it takes. Yeah, humble, humble, okay, maybe I need... Humble, upronum. Okay, humble is kind of believeness, mm -hmm. and then and then upranicum, dedication. Dedication, okay. And a de when a, from the dedication, upronicum, the consciousness. Mm, that's when it starts opening. And then consciousness, breathing, breathing of the rukum, ah. and and a union, uni, union, union your. Mm -hmm. Uh, our our Unifies. soul mm -hmm. and soul and a, and and a fact a dimension are all of a layer of our body. Yes, yeah. that is so beautiful because we think in the West, don't we think very much that life has like three dimensions and that's what we see and that's what we get. Well, I love the Bali approach. I love the deeper spiritual wisdom of yeah. many cultures. Mm -hmm. Is that we have. The vessel the body but then there is soul that comes in mm -hmm. and our emotional parts our mental parts and our spiritual parts all belong together and we need to nurture them to be a full human being yeah yeah mm -hmm. so one of the messages that you really want to give to the world um mm -hmm. that if maybe you can put in your own words in, in your facebook page it says you believe um that the one is in the many the many is in the one i mean that the this, the large, God is in everything, and everything is in God. Uh, God is uh, Tuhan adalah inti sari dari dari proses kehidupan itu. Yeah, everything stems from God. Yeah. Everything comes out of it's God. From God. It's because, the yeah. ground of being. Is, yeah, inti yeah. sari mean essence. 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 Okay. Uh, so Tuhan adalah inti sari dari proses kehidupan, yeah. dan dan itu terlahir dari kepercayaan kita. Yeah. Ke, lahir dari keyakinan kita di mana keyak, keyakinan itu tidak terlahir tapi ada di dalam jiwa kita yeah. itulah rutum of kepanam iswan yeah god comes out of our well i would from everything you've said you know it's yeah. like consciousness merges with our with the form and the form then gives expression experience god can that belief it evolves within us it doesn't it's not something you can decide on. You cannot think, uh, make yeah. it happen. Yeah. Can we, we we also can say belief to God is is to come from your abilityness. Belief and and then your your abilityness is not is not tidak terlahir is not born, born but, but be be just be just be in in yeah. in your soul. Yeah. Okay, so one more question I would like to ask Ida, whether she has a message, something that you really would like to share from Bali with yeah. us here in the West. What would that be? Yes, yeah, so even, even more people um, believe in God, in God yeah. it will more, more people will be fine 
find their um, uh, their abilityness their develop their abilityness inside their in, in, in their soul yeah, yeah. they will yeah. find their soul their truth yeah yeah and i am so at home here in bali and i feel like i thank you so much for making that your soul journey you You're help welcome. people make that journey to find their trust i earlier i spoke with one of the friends here who came yeah. and met you four years ago uh -huh. mm, she came from canada and she's here with us but uh <laughs> She said that, you know, she was all over the place. And when she came to you and you did the water blessing, mm -hmm. it went so deeply into her that it awakened in her again that belief, that trust, and she started opening. And you remained in her consciousness for all those years and came back and back to that moment of, you know, like surrendering in dignity, in humbleness to a blessing yeah. opens us up to God. Yeah. And in that moment, we go like, God, do with me what you wish, and there is an opening. So you facilitate all these people. Uh, uh, so thank you so much uh, for you. dedicating thank your you. life to this journey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching Ida here with me on Quantum Living, live with Ilona Selke here in Bali at Champuan Hotel by the holy Champuan River. And thank you so much for sharing your wisdom and your awakening as such a young, enormous priestess. Thank you very much. Oh, my personal, I'm Thank so you. happy.